Now let's keep the good times rolling. Easter is all about family and sharing and breakfast is no different. This recipe is both easy to make and perfect for a quick breakfast snack to keep you sustained whilst entertaining this Easter. We all love a recipe that is versatile and allows us to play around with fresh ingredients, getting those nutrients in while keeping the family traditions alive. Jay is here to show us how it's done. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. You were about to say something. <laughs> so we, you know, I love chapatis. I love omelets, and you know, new laid eggs are so fresh. They, you know, farm to table kind of style. And I thought that it would be perfect to just combine the two loves of my life. Do you want to just break it down for us then what exactly a chapati is? So a chapati and a roti are basically interchangeable, but what varies or, or differs with the chapati is that it's made with whole wheat flour. Okay. So you can see the ones that we've got over there are a little bit darker, a little yeah. bit more brown. Mm. Um, and so it's just a different texture, different flavor, a little bit of nuttiness, and that's basically the difference. Yeah. Okay. And Tommy, you've also done kind of research here when yeah. it comes to this trend, and the research was found on social media, Chad. <laughs> Because, I mean, he challenged me. He was like, yes, this is something I like and I enjoy, but I'm challenging you to give it your own twist today and let's make it yes. together. So that's what we're going to be doing. That It's actually quite a trend that's happening on, on social media right now where people make their omelette and then you basically flip it over with uh, the, the chapati or whatever omelette or wrapper you're using. So in this instance, we're going to start off with our new laid eggs. And I love what you've touched on when you mentioned the fact that they are focusing on farm to table, which is what a lot of us people are doing right now. People want to mm. know where their food comes from and what exactly is in there. So it is good to know that we are getting our new laid eggs that are fresh, that are full of nutrients. They are great to basically include into any recipe of your choice that actually uses eggs. So to start off, I've got my eggs that I've added into there. And because we're making a chapati, we're keeping with those uh, traditional Indian flavors like I've got here. I've got some curry that we've added. We've got some cumin. We're uh, basically going to add these spices into this and basically enhance the flavor of the ingredients we're using today. Love that. And I think the spices really mm -hmm. um, blend well with the with the new laid eggs because they're so you know creamy mm. and full of nutrients and mm. and adding anything they just suck up all that flavor and it just makes for a delicious meal and i am the omelette queen <laughs> if i can say so myself i really am <laughs> i learned it from my, i got it from my mama <laughs> my mom makes the best omelette in fact we are celebrating easter but it's actually our christmas tradition. Every Christmas morning, my mom wakes us all up with these massive omelets that are oh so delicious. And she taught me how to perfect an omelet. So I'm here pressure. for that. But I'm not, yeah, <laughs> mad pressure every single year. But something that makes this recipe very simple is that, you know, omelets are so temperamental. Yeah. When it's time to flip it over and hold the shape, it's almost impossible. But that's what this, what makes this recipe so special Correct. because it takes that hassle and that pressure off yeah, and the great thing about it as well is that we're adding a couple of different flavors and spices to it. So you're also knowing that you're getting as much flavor in it. But the thing is, Balesa, you're making it nice and chunky. Mm. So once I start cooking my omelet here, I'm also still going to get the texture of the fresh ingredients that we're adding in there. We've got okay. some onions. I've got some red onions in there. I've got some tomatoes in there. I've also got some coriander sticking mm. into those, you know, um, Middle East, um, Asian flavors we've got here. We've got some uh, coriander. We've got some spring onions. And we've also got some chilies. I know you like your yep. stuff. Ha! <laughs> I was going to say, you literally have my two favorite ingredients. Oh, three. I lie. Three favorite ingredients. Number one, eggs. I eat eggs literally every single day. <laughs> I have, I eat eggs breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I boil, fry, uh, <laughs> scramble, poach the works. I also love my chilies. You know that vitamin C, it is getting cold right now. So having this extra additional vitamin C is, is brilliant. And then, you know, you just put in... My third, third favorite. favorite. <laughs> I love cheese. I love myself some cheese. So, Dumi, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. But now what we need to do is, as the cheese melts away, what we're going to do is we're going to top our omelette with our chapati here. But now once we've cooked this, we're going to flip it over. But before that even happens, Jay is going to be making uh, the dressing or the filling for this. What we're going to do, like with any omelette, it has to have some sort of filling. Yes. But we're keeping it nice and green, keep keeping it nice and nutritious. And he's made a, a, a mini salad for us, right? Yeah. So I, th I think that because you're working with Indian flavors, which I absolutely love, it's so delicious. Mm. You know, usually you'll have a little bit of sambal mm -hmm. or a raita on the side. And so what mm. I've got here is one of my ultimate favorite ingredients is some rocket. You mm. could use some baby spinach or anything mm. like that. Just very simple with some lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper. 
and and there you go. Because I think that it's so jam packed with flavor that yeah. you don't want to overpower True. it, overcomplicate it. Yeah. And you can literally use whatever you want. You can roll them up. Mm. You can fold them into quarters. You can even Brilliant. try some more eggs and put them inside of the <laughs> omelette again. I mean, I just had my first taste tester, and guys, you know I'm from Durban. Uh -huh. So I'm very familiar with those Indian flavors. So since I can't go home this Easter, and I can't, you know, be reminiscent of all of those flavors, this recipe is definitely the recipe to try. I mean, this is great and versatile with so many variations and flavors that you can make. So for this recipe, please do head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Yes, girl, flip it, <laughs> twist it, dunk it. It sounds so good. And we still have so much more Afternoon Express as we do enjoy the Easter festivities.